What's up, y'all? J. Roos After Dark Edition. <laughs> what did I think of the shove heard around the world? <laughs> Ryan Garcia goes at it with Devin Haney, man. They started off, you know, doing the face-to-face -face thing. And then I guess Ryan had enough, pushed him, was telling him he was soft. Then, um, you know, of course, the dad, you know, he's real protective of his son, which, uh, you know, that's understandable. He hops in. They about to square off with the bodyguard. I know the fight was reportedly signed a couple hours ago. At least that's when I heard about it. So it uh, looks like it's official, and it didn't appear that it was just to hype up the fight. It looked like it was really about to go down. And, um, you know, of course, Devin Haney, uh, you know, he's the work. You know, say they actually do get in the ring. Devin Haney's the workhorse. He throws a lot of punches. Ryan Garcia has the one-hitter quitter. Uh, they used to go at it in the amateurs, but uh, I'm not really going to talk about the fight in the ring so much i just want to talk about uh how they were going at it so heated you know just face to face and <laughs> it was just uh a trip here <laughs> ryan garcia telling me he was soft like that like right to his face and uh devin haney was just talking about you not hard or something like that but you know we'll see if either man is that aggressive when they do fight, should they fight? But uh, I just thought, wow, these guys really don't like each other. <laughs> it's not an act. <laughs> What'd you guys think of the shove heard around the world? Do you think Devin Haney was acting? Do you think Ryan Garcia was acting? Do you think either man is afraid of the other? Who do you think will win on fight night? Uh, who do you think got the little, the better of that little uh, face-off that they seem to have? Who do you think won that? Um, those kind of things do hype up fights. I know a lot of people say, you know, I don't like to see fighters get into it. It's fighting, so, I mean, you're watching uh, controlled violence anyway, so... How in the world are you going to say, I don't like when fighters get into it. They're going to get into it in the ring. So, you know, if they get into it outside the ring, it's no big deal. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I trip off when people say that. Now, I can understand if they say, I don't like all the, you know, lip service and the F-bombs. Yeah, I ain't cool with that either. But, uh, you know, if fighters want to shove each other and stuff like that. Cool. Don't sucker punch anybody like Riddick Bo did Larry Donald. If you go going uh, fight somebody, you know, don't steal on them. But, <laughs> you know, it was just an interesting uh, to watch and um, seeing the different angles and uh, seeing Devin Haney's dad go at it and then look like Devin Haney's security want to get into a Ryan Garcia's security. And I don't think uh, Devin Haney's security guy – would have been able to last probably more than 20 seconds with Ryan Garcia's bodyguard. That dude was way bigger and way taller. Not that size always means that much, but it kind of does mean as much, especially in a street fight when it can go to the ground and not just to stand up, kind of more like mixed martial arts. Speaking of mixed martial arts, since I'm mixed, um, should I be in mixed martial arts? Ah, but you never thought of that. <laughs> I don't know. No, you know, it's late. What do you want from me? Anyway, uh, <laughs> it's the J. Roos Theory. If you choose to hit up the cash app, it's dollar sign J. Roos 33, J R O O S 33. Make sure to comment, share, subscribe, beat down that like button. And be fearless. Oh, let me tell you who I think won the little uh, face-off. Um, Ryan Garcia won it. He had the better trash talk, and he gave the shove, and he just seemed more aggressive. So Ryan Garcia won that little uh, skirmish. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching LSR Forever. Be fearless. Yay.